Let me share a story. There were twin babies in a mother's womb. One asked another, Who are you? You cannot be my creator you are just creation like me the helpless theirs must be our creator otherwise how we came to this form, and we became part of the surrounding of this existence which we are and where we came from, and why we are here, are we made here, or we made somewhere else, or somewhere else we assembled in this form, the way our body developing I don't think we were like this, every day something new appearing in our bodies parts collections we should be a thankful obedience to our creator and owner. For his significant development how lucky we are. It seems to me I am sure he must be made many of like us. How lucky we are whatever body parts he gives us are beautiful and seems to be very beneficial for us at any condition I cannot afford to lose them. I am sure all the praises go to him what he did for us. He made us perfect. I think he made many. But how many will get all these parts perfectly or not and I think about those who not to made. And develop properly and maybe they didn't get eyes or missing hands or legs. What do you think, is there life after leaving here? Why are you asking? Of course, the way we are growing, this place will be too small for us, don't worry when we were tiny the one who took care of us until now, all our needs I am sure he will be taken care of us in the future, one thing I am sure you must also notice always we find something new in our body's growth and functions whenever we wake up, we find some things new such as we can hear, we see, and we talk, always something new. How is this happening from where we are getting it? And we both have all the body parts and functions the same amazing. I used to think, about the holes on my face and holes on my sides of my face what are the use of these holes why we have them and why he made them until I have received eyeballs with, I can see and I am able to hear, and how about our nose I don't know what is the use, and how about our sides holes and the function. I always think all the parts of our body have methods and purpose and whatever I have to get I still wish and pray to him for my accomplishments of my body then I will be one of the luckiest person do you think whoever is our creator, I am sure he is, incredible, sometimes I wonder how he is making us we never seen him but our body parts continuously growing, in this water bag, I don't see anything except the water with blood, and from where the creator brings the flesh and bones with different sizes, Bones he covered with flesh and designed them. I wonder where he brings all these material for our bodies to connect to them and it's amazing how he made this water bag for our living place with all the comforts and very nice setup along the umbilical cord to supply food for us must be he is the greatest one, who is giving all these priceless facilities and favors to us. I don't think they are granted to us, do we have to return all these favor to him, in fact support should be returned as favor. He is the most significant power who made our souls and give us the body for our life to use. I don't think we are able to give him back anything. As you know our body created by him and everything is belongs to him we have no ability to give him back any favors. If we able to get free will in our next life as appreciations of all these favors we will able to obey him. And pay the thanks to him as much as possible. I am sure the movement to our next life must have some important purpose. That's why he gave us all the parts to our body for the mission of our next life then after leaving from here where we will be. Of course, everything has to go back where it came from, naturally, we have to go back as well, look like our bodies is not ready yet once they ready we will enter into our next stage, after our next life then where we will go, we will go back with this body. You remember we came into this water bag without our bodies. I think we were the tiniest cell how do you know the way we are growing then probably, and we will go back without our bodies. Tell me, with all these body parts and their functions look like, we will go to face the big challenges in our next life I assume we will enter in some test, I don't understand what type of test we are going to face. I think, only through these body parts, which, we are getting right now, what our body parts supposed to do with the test. These body parts have to behave consequently to the laws of our creator, which seems to be some straight path according to laws set by our creator why he will bind us with his laws, protect our bodies from all kind of damages through our listening, seeing thinking and talking in according to commands of our creator. I'll believe there should be big reason for our test, after the test, I don't think body won't stay with us, I think we have to make sure to use this body with the laws and commands of our creator. Then I am considering about the circumstances we have to face, where we will get these commands, here or our next life. I am sure in our next life, he will guide us with his commands, 
how to use our body parts according to the laws of creator. If we misuse them, then we have to face the penalty but don't forget, he is most merciful. Yes, that's why he is going to guide us so we won't damage our bodies which we don't own. We are just the users don't you realize he is the only our creator, owner, provider, sustainer, beneficial, for our body's requirements. Do you think, our test will start after leaving from this place? I think it like, because we are not completely developed yet, but feel like, we are ready to leave for the great test of the next journey of our life soon, when the time will come, and we have to go out this water bag. It seems to me we are going towards the final phase of our life, I think so, time flies, I remember when I came, and I saw you as dead flesh and all of a sudden, you started moving, how you came here. The same question I want to ask you, I wonder, where we came from, what will be the next, maybe, we are here to prepare ourselves for the next life, what you've been telling me, how do you know all these details? It does not make sense at all, how it's possible. I don't think, is there any life after here, I am assuming, there will be another life, maybe we will be able to walk, I wonder this mouth is only for talking, or it has any other uses, maybe in future. It is absurd. Walking is not possible and eats by mouth, it does not make sense. Ridiculous, the umbilical cord is the system of supplies our food. How life will be in the future with this cord? I think it will be with us forever for our food. I don't think, after leaving here, and this cord will be with us. As we can see, the umbilical cord is too short. I think there will be some other replacement, I think once we leave from here, we cannot come back ever, in this place. Every day, we are growing up, how long this place will be able to hold us, or leaving from this place, I wonder, if we will be together or not, but might be. We will able to see, who loves, and pampers us, mother, I am sure, she will take care of us, by the way, does she lives like us in water? I wonder our survival will be the same, if there is no water, how will we be survived? Who will go to take care of us? I think we should not worry about who is taking care of us right now, also, he will look after us, our caretaker, mother, always around us. Without her, there wouldn't be this world. We never saw her, so it's only logical, sometimes, we able to hear her voices, we listen and observe her. I believe, there is a life after leaving this place, and we are here to prepare ourselves for the next journey. You think next trip will the end our this place I believe so regardless of, wherever we are, we should not forget, our souls committed to the Creator, the Greatest One, to obey Him for eternity, where we stay. It looks like our journey will never end. For more informative videos please do subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for all upcoming videos notification. Like this video and share with your family and friends. I suggest you to read Quran in your language for more understanding of Almighty God Allah.